Guybrush, come over here gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids, you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. <laughs> I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on. Let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. <laughs> it's so... Lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I once got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. How much are the scurvy dogs? Scurvy dogs are only a half piece of eight. What should we do next? We've got to get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah, we've got all kinds of money. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. The words don't look like words, but there's a picture of a scurvy dog. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. Exhibit removed. Ah. I once had the hiccups for four. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Good! You unlocked it! I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. 
Did you know you can keep a skirt? Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. Huh. Gross. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. In France, a fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Gross. Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as a toilet. I don't see any coins, and I'm not putting my hands in that. I'm not sure how we can get scurvy dogs without any pieces of eight. We might have all we need. I don't think that guy can see very well. Now what? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure, if you give me a piece of eight. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Having these for breakfast, lunch, and dinner forever. What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? I wonder where those two people we were following went. I can stand on my head without using my hands. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um. He's dead to the world. That's my friend Dee. Hey Dee. Hey Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. There, perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. Anchor? <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was Bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly, and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron, and you have to recast them like twice a year because they rust. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies. But the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old way. The word anchor comes from the Sanskrit word nagara, meaning they're called that because when... Yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a lot. <laughs> I 
I want to say two. Hey, Chucky, want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> Hey, hands off! I want to feed the duck! I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. I wonder where this path goes. That's our bread! Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Excuse me. Yes? Never mind. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. No regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Uh, Gotta run. How rude. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? Don't feed... What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. You're not gonna touch the ground with your scurvy dog. No, of course not. You should put that on your scurvy dog. Want a sword fight with me? You don't look very challenging. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my level! I win! I win! Uh -uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if! Let's look for a four-leaf clover! Okay. Good luck with that. I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! I should find a coin to throw in. I should throw my coin in and make a wish. Another scurvy dog. Those things are bad for you. <gasps> Told you so. Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, 
like, there's this one that you call the Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. <laughs>